Hey friend, thank you for joining us for another Black History Spotlight here with Fresberg Cartoon. Today, I am sharing one of the most brutal and horrific stories from the 20th century about a boy named Emmett Till. The life of Emmett Lewis Till began on July 25th, 1941, where he was born in Chicago, Illinois. Growing up, Till lived in an America that was very divided openly segregating schools across the country for children. Growing up on the south side of Chicago, Emmett Till lived in a working class neighborhood, but he was no stranger to attending a segregated elementary school where blacks and whites were separated. Known as a big jokester, Emmett was set to visit family in the south, where he was warned by his mother Mamie to be careful trying to be the center of attention in the south. That was because although blacks experienced racism in northern states, in the South, it was openly known that they were more violent toward blacks. The story of Emmett Till led to the young man arriving in Money, Mississippi on August 21st, 1955, where he stayed with his uncle Moses Wright, who was a sharecropper there. Now looking back in history on August 24th in 1955, the story varies, but it is told that Emmett Till encountered a white cashier named Carolyn Bryant, where after being dared by a group of boys, Till tried to either talk to her or whistle at her or touch her upon leaving the store. Although nothing came of it that day, on August 28, 1955, one of the most horrific crimes in history took place. That is where the husband of Carolyn Bryant and his half-brother forced their way into Emmett Till's uncle's home, abducting Emmett Till at gunpoint. The two men would take Emmett Till out to a remote area to punish him by gouging out his eyes and beating him severely before they tied his body to a large metal fan with barbed wire and tossed it into the Tallahatchie River. After Till's uncle reported the kidnapping to the police, both men were arrested. On August 31st, 1955, Till's body was discovered in the river, unrecognizable because of the severe beating. The only way they were able to identify Emmett Till was because of Till wearing a monogram ring that belonged to his father being on his hand. After an attempt to cover up the brutal murder and bury Emmett Till right away, his mother said no and brought him back to Chicago to show what the men did to her son. That is where she had an open casket allowing the world to see the violence that took place on that date. The gruesome photos of Till's body were later published in Jet Magazine and the Chicago Defender, rallying many to support the civil rights movement. As far as the two men that were charged for the murder of Emmett Till, after going to trial on September 19, 1955, even though Till's uncle Moses Wright identified both men, they were found not guilty by an all-white, all-male jury with their explanation saying the state failed to prove that the body found was Emmett Till. The injustice during this trial was obvious to onlookers around the world and then adding even more fuel to that fire, the state also refused to charge the men with kidnapping. In 2004, a Federal Bureau of Investigation report reopened the case of Emmett Till. Although the investigation did not lead to any criminal charges, it did uncover a deathbed confession by Milam's brother, Leslie, who admitted his involvement in the kidnapping and murder of Emmett Till. In 2017, a bright light was also shined again on the lies that were told. That is where Carolyn Bryant revealed that Emmett Till had never touched, threatened, or harassed her on that date in question. And that brings us to the end of this Black History Spotlight on Emmett Till. Thank you for joining us today. And if you'd like more stories like this, highlighting people, events, interesting facts from history, and more, take a moment to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, where we share new content each week. 